A, how to do this? Um, somebody asked me the other day. Uh, can I do? Uh, can I use the tiles map and still use different bitmaps for my tiles, which are generated by the tiles map? Answer: Yes, you can, as you can see on this side. So now, how do you do that? Let me show you. I'll build the material from scratch, so you have a better idea. And so this is how it works. Um, here we go. We need the material first, of course. Let's use the mental ray, arc and design, let's zoom in, let's Z. double click to get all the settings and it shouldn't be shiny because it's bricks, so we're using this color. So now let me connect this material to that one, so just drag and drop from this one to there and make sure you put it in hardware shading mode because we're going to use a mix map and otherwise you don't get a preview either here or in your material in the uh, how do you call this viewport so what we need first of all we need the tiles map so standard tiles here it is there done so once you've done that you need to move on so this is how the tiles map look you remember it's all these colors for textures and, and grout and so on and we want to use different type of tiles so we need the tiles option so what do we use? We use a mix map. Why do we use a mix map? Because we will have two different bitmaps and we want to use them both and mix them in a certain way that either bitmap 1 or bitmap 2 is being shown. So mix map. So let's tell the mix map which maps to use. So color 1 will be a bitmap. Um, it is, I have two down here, this is the dark one, let's put it in there and you can see it now immediately updates. Let's use for this one, we'll use another bitmap, so it's a lighter color for the brick, here you go. So that's it. So now it just shows us the black one, because, or the darker one, because it's using that as color one and there's no mixing going on yet, because mixing is set to zero, you see. So if I go to the mix, so how do we want to mix? We don't want to mix by percentage because otherwise it will just give a combination of those two. We want to mix by using the tile map. So we need the tiles map again. And double click it. Go to advanced control. And we need this one. This one is very important. This is the color variance. And we put it on 100. And if we do that, you can see what happens, double click it, you can see it now generates white and black tiles. And according to white and black, it either shows the light bitmap or the dark bitmap. So that's all you need to do, basically this one. You can do a little bit of variation, but you can also leave it at zero. You can even put it up a little bit, so you might get some, some grayish in between, so you get a little color variation even in the same bitmap. Uh, you can use the random seed down here, change it to 100 for instance, to update or change your uh, layout of the tiles. So the black and white rearrangement, how that's done, that's this one. So put it at 300 and you'll see another pattern. And you can see it's updating in real time kind of in the viewport and that's why I use this show mapping viewport but use the hardware material because a mix map can only be shown its end result can only be shown inside the viewport if you use hardware shading. So that's basically it. So the overview looks like this. So press L to get a nice straight overview. So we have the material. The material uses the tiles map for its colors. Colors are influenced by the mix map based on two bitmaps and a masking option kind of which is the tiles map again, but now with its color variance set to 100, so it generates a black and white pattern instead of white or gray or whatever you call. And by that, you will be using the different type of bitmaps. So that's all. Well, hope you learned something and have fun. Cheers.